Oslo. Odinga was addressing the Energy Plus Partnership Conference in Oslo, Norway, where he said Kenya is planning to shift from hydro to geothermal power and is keen to develop clean coal technology and the kerosene-free Kenya program. He said the program aims to improve access to solar lanterns and solar panels, green charcoal and improved cooking stoves to 10 million households in the next two years. In Nakuru, the widow of the late minister Mbiyu Koinange appeared before a Nakuru court in connection with the murder of former Mudera farm manager Moses Olimpoe. Eda Wanjiru Mbiyu was arraigned before High Court Judge Justice Anyara Emukule, but was not required to plead to the charges due to lack of a mental examination report. State Counsel Andrew Omtelema told the court that examination on the accused's mental status was not available since she was arrested over the weekend. The court directed that examination on Wanjiru be done immediately to enable her to appear in court tomorrow to take the plea. Eda Koinange was seized by flying squad detectives in Nairobi on Saturday and handed over to the Nakuru police. Still in Nakuru, police gunned down a suspected ringleader of a carjacking syndicate. The man in his 40s was cornered at a house in Engachura Estate, where he had hosted six of his other accomplices before being busted by a flying squad officer. Nakuru OCPD Johnston Ipara, who led the operations, displayed an AK-47 rifle, a pistol and 58 rounds of ammunition recovered from the suspect. And drama unfolded in Komboni area of Naivasha, when a man alleged to have been bewitched started eating grass to the shock of residents. Police had to intervene and forcefully stop him. The man who seemed to be in a trance is alleged to have stolen money from a neighbor. The neighbor is said to have consulted a witch doctor who cast a spell on the man who couldn't allegedly even remember his own name or where he came from.